Hello everybody, how's it going? Uh, I'm back with a video uh, with this stuff. I'm going to tell you the updates and stuff of what I've done with the African Empire uh, since last time, and uh, I'm also going to announce um, uh, the little giveaway that I'm going to do and how you can uh, win the giveaway. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, let's talk about the giveaway first, because that's what people are probably most interested in, though some of you are probably interested in the African Empire, and uh, some very interesting stuff has happened. Uh, not big things, necessarily, but interesting things, nonetheless. Um, <clears throat> so, the giveaway. I am going to, thanks to getting 30 likes on my Facebook page, and I'm going to do another giveaway at 100 likes on my Facebook page as well, so don't think that this is a reason to either unlike or whatever, and... Uh, stuff, and I also know the people that, un, uh, unlike, were just fake fraud losers. Anyway, but if you are generally, genuinely like my videos and genuinely uh, enjoy my content, there's all kinds of updates and stuff, uh, new series and stuff that I'm thinking, uh, mini contest stuff and whatnot on my Facebook page that will be happening uh, as we get more likes and stuff. And 100 likes, I'll be doing another giveaway of a different uh, thing, game, whatever. And um, unfortunately, I was going to do a giveaway of Supreme Ruler 2020 itself, a CD key, uh, but... Finding one is ridiculously annoying and difficult, and I didn't have enough money on my PayPal to buy one off of Paradox's website. So, what I did is I had money on my Steam wallet, and I bought the next best thing, uh, Supreme Ruler uh, Cold War, which is the newest uh, game in the Supreme Ruler series, and also a very, very good one. Uh, I believe uh, a guy there that uh, I started kind of off of. Uh, because I liked his videos, so I was like, hmm, let's do some videos of these. And uh, if you don't know who he is, you should go check him out. Uh, I believe it's uh, Blackhawk50000 or something like that. I'll put a link to his channel in his description. Tell him I send you, said hi, and uh, stuff. He doesn't really do videos anymore, but if you wanted to watch some good, classic, uh, action-packed, shoot-and-kill-everything uh, in his way type of uh, strategic gameplay at the same time, uh, I definitely recommend watching his Germany series. His Rwanda series is very, very good. Um... He, he uh, took Rwanda and basically conquered uh, Africa and uh, is just a total badass in that anyway. Um, highly recommend going checking out his videos. Uh, he's a great content producer and stuff. And uh, yeah, but I'm going to give away uh, a copy of Supreme Ruler Cold War. Um, and the way you can win this is one of two ways. One, and this will get you two separate entries into it. I'm going to draw it from a hat in an IRL video in like a week or two time. Um, and uh, the winner will be announced there. Uh, one, leave a comment on this video uh, saying which of my Supreme Ruler series you liked the most, from the African Empire series to the uh, Bulgaria series to the uh, Serbian series, whatever, uh, which one that you have enjoyed the most, if you are a viewer of mine, um, and that will get you one entry. The second way, and 30 of you already have one entry into this anyway, is to go like the Facebook page um, every single person that likes that Facebook page and stuff like that uh, will be put into the drawing to be one as well. If you do both of those things, you get two two ways. So, yeah, there you go. Um, <clears throat> also, for every subscriber I get between now and then, so I have 146-ish now, uh, and in a week's time, which will be January the 6th, uh, I believe. Yes, January the 6th. That's the official ending now. If it's a week or not, it's close enough. Um, the, more, the amount of subscribers I get between then and there um, if I get to 150, uh, between then and then, uh, for between now and then, sorry, I'll do, <clears throat> uh, like I said, the, uh, North Korean LP, and I'll also do a small giveaway, <clears throat> once I can get it on my PayPal and stuff like that, so you have to bear with me a little bit, uh, I'll also give away a CD key to Supreme Ruler 2020, so, there you go, there's a possibility of two contests in one month, uh, so, again, leave a comment on this video of which of my Supreme Ruler series, it could also be the Torchlight series, Borderlands series, whatever, um, if you enjoy those series more, that's fine. Um, you can leave a comment of if you enjoy one of those series more. Who knows? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Um, and that will get you an entry. And liking the Facebook page, which is a link in the description, um, will also get you an entry into that uh, Cold War giveaway. And like I said, if I reach 150 subscribers by January the 6th, I will do a CD key giveaway of Supreme Ruler 2020 and do the North Korean LP. And I'll give that away on the North Korean LP. <coughs> and um, the way to enter that one, of course, is to share the page. Um, but it'll be the same reason as well. Uh, everybody that comments on this video and likes the Facebook page will also get an entry into that one as well. Um, so yeah. Also, if you already own Supreme Ruler 2020 and you want to be nice, um, comment when you comment on this video that you already own Supreme Ruler 2020, and I will not enter you into the Supreme Ruler 2020 contest so that other people can possibly win this game that don't have it and want to play it. Um, 
so yeah, a few of you I know do own it because a few of you are talking about it and stuff like that. So, I mean, if if you want to be nice and you don't want to uh, take the opportunity away from somebody that would uh, otherwise never play this game, uh, leave a comment also saying that uh, you own this game already. So, to recap, to enter Cold War, comment on this video with your favorite series on my channel, or like my Facebook page, or and, or like my Facebook page, and that will get you to, uh, an entry each. For the Supreme Ruler 2020 giveaway, uh, 150 subscribers by January the 6th, and the same to win Cold War will get you an entry into that as well. And if you already own Supreme Ruler 2020, comment saying uh, that you already own it on this video. So yeah, that's the contest. So quickly to go over what I did in South Africa, I will go into my card here, obviously. Um, my population is almost 1.5 billion people, which I believe is the largest in the world, or second largest in the world now. I'm going to check. Let's check, check, check. Let's see here. How do I check my population again? Oh, right here. Yes, I am the largest in the world. I passed uh, India, so I am now the largest in the world. Also, my military is by far the largest in the world, passing India again. Um, of course, we have the most casualties and everything like that, but, you know, even still, uh, it's pretty impressive. So, <laughs> my economy currently is going down. I'm having issues with it. Um, so I've, ha I've been having to put taxes up constantly to keep my economy in uh, one piece. But, uh, yeah. So Europe is now also conquered. I uh, conquered Spain uh, and Portugal. Uh, I also f conquered um, this area. And as you can see, I have defense forces in case the Russians get a little bit antsy, um, which they do sometimes. I don't think Moscow will, though. I think they're in uh, too much of a state of war right now. I also conquered all of Scandinavia. So Finland, Norway, Sweden, um, and uh, I also conquered uh, Denmark. I don't really know if that's considered part of Scandinavia. I don't really think it is. So, yeah. So Europe, continental Europe, besides what Moscow owns and uh, a little bit of what Western Europe owns, uh, is mine. I completely own continental Europe. I do not own Sicily, Sardinia, and Malta, and I do not uh, own England and the Isle of Great Britain or, the I or Ireland. So, yeah, and that's going to be a while in coming. I know people are like, you should do a sea invasion, but if you look at what England has, to land a sea invasion means all other troops turning on me, and um, that wouldn't be very pleasant, uh, to say the least. Considering I can only land on the biggest, badass, mostiest um, carriers that I own, I could probably only land maybe about 70 troops at most. So I think they would probably get brutally murdered uh, at any seaport that they could land at considering I'd have to land at a seaport. So I'd have to land uh, here, uh, while send on the t on the Tyne. Um, <clears throat> or I would have to land somewhere uh, down by Plymouth. So that would be my best options. And obviously you can tell with uh, the Navy that they have there. Uh, it's kicked my Navy's ass. So kind of not a smart idea to uh, be going to a land invasion right now. Right now. In the future, yes. Uh, I'm also planning on conquering Iceland, and since I conquered Denmark, I also have this. So, yeah. We have some pretty awesome areas now. Parts of Greenland, which gives us striking distance to uh, northern Canada. I plan on striking Newfoundland and Labrador at some point in the future. Um, don't know when, but at some point, to start a North American campaign. That or I'll strike at Charlottetown PEI, and uh, start a campaign from there uh, into North America and ESC. The problem, of course, with that is that Quebec owns New Brunswick, so I'd have to go to war with Quebec first, and they have enough units that it scares me a little bit, so I had to build up a good military. Um, I also, as you can see here, have conquered a good portion of uh, this section of um, the northernness-ish of South America, so I'm starting to kind of conquer South America a little bit, and... Uh, yeah, so that's going along really well. I'm building uh, transport roads and stuff here, trying to out-supply uh, Brazil. And it's uh, actually working quite well for me. Um, I'm out-supplying them fairly heavily. I could probably attack uh, Boa Vista fairly easily, but I don't want to uh, aggro, ag aggravate the Brazilians. I'd rather them just keep worrying themselves with uh, Venezuela and Colombia and stuff instead of, you know, attack me. Because I don't really, don't really want to get attacked by Brazil. Um, they don't, I don't think they have very many striking units anymore. I could probably actually uh, take them out. It would just take a while. Um, but I think... <coughs> I, I don't think it would be too difficult to actually like beat Brazil. Um, 
and take them over. But uh, that'll be a future project for sure. But uh, we'll see what happens there. You can see Colombia owns a fair bit of Brazil as well. And finally, um, let's unpause that for a moment. I have conquered, the Middle, starting to conquer the Middle East, um, starting with Afghanistan, which I uh, defeated with, you can see mass units there, that's my uh, force for the Middle East, and basically what I do is, like, people are like, oh, you take all of them and then just attack? No. I take sections of them and attack certain areas, like down here I have about, what, 90 units, 88 units? So, those units there are um, attacking... Uh, <clears throat> the southern mid portions of uh, Pakistan, kind of separating their troops a little bit. So they can't pull anything out of here to defend their capital and stuff. Unfortunately, attacking their capital is um, not too smart right now. It's fairly uh, heavily, heavily guarded. And uh, it's kind of ridiculous because they have so much, uh, so many units that just, uh, like artillery and shit, that it just, it's ridiculous. Taking that city is impossible. Um, essentially. I'm waiting for, um, Air Force bombings to come in so I can actually take that city over, and, uh, right now my Air Force is repairing, and mostly in Europe. So, gonna be a while to, uh, really get that, uh, going. But, eventually. So I have a mass European force here that's, uh, ready to go in Europe anywhere, um, it's needed. I have another force here, just in case England, for whatever reason, lands troops. Um... I'm going to get some units here. I'm going to see if I can attack Sicily and maybe build a bridge across. I'm um, hoping that's a possibility in the future, but uh, we're not sure. Malta, I'm thinking some sea bombings eventually to, and take them over via that, uh, and then we'll conquer that. And uh, Cyprus, I'm thinking of doing uh, mass air bombings of Cyprus and then landing troops in Cyprus um, to take Cyprus. Uh, that will be eventually, not yet. Uh, Georgia Republic and Armenia, I think, are going to be, um, targets very shortly. Um, maybe after Pakistan's done and over with, because Pakistan is just... It's not draining me at all, it's just kind of annoying. Because they send random units every once in a while. I have everything protected, and, like, they, like, they really can't do anything, essentially, to me. But, uh, they try. They try. But I'm just going to take over uh, most of their towns that are kind of separated from everything and go from there. So, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. I would like to conquer all of the southern portion areas, but that'll be a difficult thing. Just to take Hyderabad will be just ridiculous because there's so much shit there. I'll have to do air bombings of it, and that's just a pain in the ass. And yeah, so, But I will eventually conquer Pakistan. It'll just be a long time coming, and... And a very eventual thing, because it's just, there's so much shit everywhere. <laughs> I don't think conquering that city would be too hard, because most of it there, as you can see, is uh, anti-air. So, I don't think it'd be that hard. Just, you know, I don't want to do it, because I'm lazy. And there's no reason, because they're not attacking me anymore. So, uh, what's the point of aggroing them, and then making them send units at me? That just would not be smart, I don't think. So I'm just going to kind of back off and just hope for the best and hope the Indians can handle it because the Indians handle everything. Even though they're at war with everybody, they try. So <laughs> kudos to trying, I guess. Um, I'll probably, like, attack north. Uh, I'll eventually get bored with it all and attack north and take Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, and Uzbekistan and just kind of sandwich them all. Just because I can. Um... <laughs> It would, I don't know, it, it just seems like an, a good idea for some reason, but uh, I know it's probably not. So, I think attacking Uzbekistan will be kind of a, a pain in the ass, but I don't think attacking Kyrgyzstan or um, Tajikistan will be too bad. So, yeah. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.